Thank you, Michael. Michael came all the way from the U.S. to tell us all this. And we will now go into Tel Aviv University currently running projects. And the first one will be presented by Professor Itai Ben-Har, a targeted drug-carrying phage nanomedicines. Okay, good, uh, good morning to all of you, and thank you for coming to these presentations. Uh, what I'm presenting here today is our uh, effort of, at developing a drug delivery platform, which is a targeted platform. So essentially, the characteristics of a drug delivery platform which is targeted is that it should have a targeting moiety, usually in the form of an antibody, which should have specificity and affinity for the target. It should have, uh, at its core, a drug carrier, which ha should have a high capacity and sh should be biocompatible. And then, through a lab-by linker, which allows controlled release of the drug, it should be co connected to a drug that, sh that, sh that has to be potent. These are some examples of current uh, technologies for, ta for such targeted platforms. Uh, there are only a few that are approved, uh, many more in the pipeline. Uh, essentially, the, the greatest advantage of a targeted platform is that the drug itself should not be uh, very, very uh, specific or non-toxic because the selectivity of the drug, which is a primary requirement for most drugs, is replaced by the specificity that is conferred by the targeting moiety. So our technology is based on targeted drug-carrying phage nanoparticles, which is a modular drug delivery, uh, delivery platform. And because it is modular, it is appropriate uh, for essentially any targetable uh, disease-bearing uh, disease cell in the body. Uh, examples we have looked at are pathogenic bacteria, uh, where we offer our technology as a solution to the problem of antibiotic resistance and cancer cells. So uh, this is our platform, the bacteriophage. A bacteriophage is a virus that infects and grows on bacteria. In our case, the actual virus is only a, a, a protein nanoparticle. Its uh, biological activity is no longer relevant, and, we, and, and it has two advantages. On one end, we put, by genetic engineering, our targeting moieties, usually in the, in the form of antibodies, and on the coat of the, of the virus particle, these are the dimensions, it's about a micron in length and six nanometers in diameter, we, on the coat of the phage, we attach, by chemical means, through a Levi linker, uh, the drugs that we want to test. So the concept is as follows. We prepared our phage with the targeting moiety at the end and a high-density coating of the drug uh, all over the particle. We can get as many as 10,000 drug molecules for each of these particles. We apply the particles to a target cell. This is a target bacterium. And the phages localize to the target. And then we trigger the drug release mechanism, uh, which causes an accumulation of high density of the drug on the target or after internalization of the platform in, in, in case of cancer within the target cell and efficient inhibition of target cell growth. So uh, for the bacterial uh, model system, we use phages that are targeted with peptides or antibodies, and we used as a model drug chloramphenicol, which was linked to, through an esterase cleavable ester bond to the phages, and this is an example of the results we could show uh, in a test tube. Uh, so we can show nice inhibition of growth of strep uh, Streptococcus pyogenes. This is a, a relative of the flesh-eating bacteria, which is more publicly uh, famous. So it's very nicely inhibited by the platform, whereas well, it's, it's not inhibited at all by phages that do not carry drug or phages that 
are targeted with an, uh, with an irrelevant antibody, and we did work with other bacterial uh, models as well. For the cancer uh, studies, we used, again, several modalities, phages that uh, carry the drug hygromycin, which was covalently linked to the phage, or phages that carry the drug doxorubicin that was linked to a genetically engineered drug release mechanism where a, a, a protease within the target cells brings about the release of the drug within the cancer cells once the platform is internalized. What we can see here is inhibition of growth of target cells with no inhibition uh, or when an, a non-relevant antibody is applied. This is compared to various concentrations of the free drug, and we get a potentiation factor of, of, of about 1,000. With the bacterial system, the potentiation factor in comparison to the free drug was about 20,000, and these are irrelevant or non-target cells which are non-inhibited at all. We went on to do some initial animal studies in mice evaluating toxicity and immunogenicity, and we could show that the phages are not toxic to bulb C mice upon IV or IP injection of up, uh, up to 10 to the 12 phages. The immunogenicity of the platform is greatly reduced because of the drug conjugation, and the circulation, uh, uh, the, the timing the circulation of the platform is enhanced by the coating of the drug. This can be shown here. Uh, this, this is uh, measuring anti-phage antibodies in the serum of the, of the injected mice. These are uh, phages that do not carry drug. These are several doses IP, and we can see that the, 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 the phages that do not carry drug or phages that carry doxorubicin are very immunogenic. However, phages that carry aminoglycoside drugs actually have a protective coating that, on one hand, very much reduces the immunogenicity, and on the second hand, we can see on top that the time in the circulation after IV injection is very nicely prolonged. So to, can, to conclude, we have shown that phages have been engineered as a novel drug delivery platform, which is based on several features. It's amplification of the potency of otherwise non-potent drugs by creating a microenvironment of high concentration of the drug around or within the, the target cell, Reduction of general toxicity of the drug, since as long as the drug is connected to the phage, it's, it's inactive. It's a form of a pro-drug activation platform. And the application of aminoglycosides as a solubility enhancing linkers, I didn't know for a short of time, I didn't go uh, into detail about this nice feature of the platform. It improves the overall performance of the platform. It reduces the, the immunogenicity and perhaps prolongs the circulation time. The, uh, now what we are going to do next is we've initiated efficacy trials in animal, in animal models for both antibacterial activities and anti-cancer models as well. We are looking at new targets because, as I told you, the system is modular, and we are engineering additional drug release mechanisms uh, to fit the individual diseases. Thank you for your attention.